Hello, this is Thomas J. Linneman, author of Social Statistics, Managing Data, Conducting Analyses, Presenting Results. This is the SPSS demonstration for Chapter 9 on Reference Groups. In this demonstration, I'm going to create a set of reference groups from an ANES variable called xyrelimp which is the importance of religion, or how much guidance religion um, offers to the respondent. So I want to look at that variable first, and I'll talk about what I'm going to do with it. So it's x, y, rel, imp. imp. There it is. I'm just going to run a frequency distribution. And we see that um, about a third of the respondents say that um, religion is unimportant to them. And we're going to use those people, we're going to use that group as our reference group. Therefore, I am going to create a reference group variable for the other three categories. So I'm going to, this is, this demonstration will take a little bit of time, but we'll get through it because I'm going to have to create three variables and once I do each one, as you know, we're going to give them labels, and that takes a little bit of time, but oh so important to give your new variables labels. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to transform, recode into different variables, and I'm going to use x, y, rel, imp as my starting variable. And I'm going to create, the first one is x, y, rel, imp sum and I'm going to give it the label of religion provides some guidance guidance is equal to one and then we click change that's a easy one to forget there now I'll go into all the new values and my old and new values for this variable are 0 goes to 0, 1 goes to 1, because those are the sum guidance people, and then 2 goes to 0, and 3 goes to 0. And all other values else become system missing. There we go. Continue and OK. And now I'll go over to the data window and oops, go down to the bottom of the variable. So there we go, rel imp doesn't have any values. So I'll go in there and zero is going to be not some guidance the spelling that word and one is going to be some guidance okay there's our first variable second variable transform now once you create the first one the others go more quickly because all we need to do is change some of these things so instead of rel imp sum it's going to be rel imp quite This is going to be quite a bit of guidance. Quite a bit of guidance is going to be equal to one. Now, click change, and now all the new values. Uh, now the zeros um, are still going to be zero. The ones are going to be zeros, because those were the sum guidance people. I'm going to change that. It's now the twos who were the quite a lot, quite a bit of guidance. Those are going to be our ones now. And the threes are going to still remain at zero. And else is missing. So continue and OK. And labels, labels, labels. Zero is not quite a bit of guidance. And one is quite a bit of guidance. Hey, I spelled it right the first try there. There we go. 
And finally, transform recode into different variables. We're going to create great, rel imp great, G-R-E-A-T. And this one is going to be great deal, great deal of guidance, deal of guidance. Change old and new values, and you can probably guess what I'm going to do here. Zero stays at zero. Now the threes, which are the great deal of guidance people, are going to be our ones. Um, our ones are going to be zero. All the other groups are going to be zeros. So zero goes to zero, one goes to zero, three goes to one, and two goes to zero. Everybody else, where's the system missing? Continue and okay. And back to the data window. Zero is not a great deal of guidance. One is a great, great deal of guidance. And once we have our variables and they have labels, it's always a good idea to check our work. So I'm going to run frequency distributions of the original variable and the three religion variables I just created. And there they are. Some, quite, and great. Okay, so we want there's the 549 right there, so that matches. There's the 779 for, provides quite a bit of guidance, and the 1441 is right there. Okay, they are good, and now we have them and we can use them in a regression. So let's do that right now. Okay, I am going to use one of the feeling thermometers, the feeling thermometer for poor people, analyze regression linear. It's called FT poor. No, not police, poor. And I will use those three variables as my independent variables. Sum, and put them all in at the same time. Quite and great. Those are going to be my three independent variables. Again, the dependent variable is ft poor. I click OK. And I see that. Now, remember, these effects are all in reference to the reference group, which is the people who um, said that religion was unimportant. So compared to those for whom religion is unimportant, those who say religion provides some guidance, they do not differ. There's no significant difference between those two groups. Uh, the next group provides quite a bit of guidance. They differ from the reference group by about three points. They um, are three points higher on average on the poor people feeling thermometer, and that does reach statistical significance. Finally, those who, for whom they say uh, religion provides a great deal of guidance. They are seven points higher than the reference group, and that is highly statistically significant. So that is how you create a set of reference groups and use them in a regression. And that is the end of this SPSS demonstration.